What is up you guys? Hi, welcome back. So today I'm bringing back a very old, I would say, and kind of forgotten and very missed uh, format of the video, which is a sketch with me. I feel like those videos were super popular back in 2016, 2017, but now they are kind of overlooked a little bit. So I wanted to see if you guys still like those videos because it's just a chill session where I'm sketching, drawing, and I'm basically just filling in my sketchbook and I'm chatting at the same time. So yeah, let's see how you guys like it. And yeah, welcome. <laughs> So I'm still on the mission of filling in my sketchbook. I still have some uh, spaces uh, left to be filled and I really want this exact sketchbook to be filled as much as possible, if that makes sense. I don't want to leave a lot of blank spaces, even though I know that blank spaces in sketchbook are also very needed and they kind of balance uh, the drawings that I have. So don't worry, I'm not gonna fill my sketchbook like up to the brim. I'm definitely still leaving some, uh, some free spaces, some um, empty areas here and there, but I just want to, you know, draw in it as much as possible and just make it into those kind of art book, let's say. Uh, you guys know that I pay a lot of attention to how my sketchbooks uh, look like because, you know, I'm a very visual person. I mean, that's pretty obvious since I'm uh, drawing, I'm a creative sort of person. So I pay a lot of attention to how things look and I pay a lot of attention to how my sketchbook looks because as much as I love seeing other people's sketchbooks and how messy sometimes they are, how kind of, you know, uh, you can tell that they are just created, you know, with this free uh, spirit and people don't really put a lot of thinking into how things are in their sketchbook. And I love that. I absolutely love that. But I'm this kind of person that I have to have things kind of my way. And if I feel that something is too messy, I'm going to cover it up or, you know, I'm a sort of perfectionist in that sense. So uh, that's why I'm still on a mission to fill in my sketchbook. And yeah, this is what we're pretty much doing in today's video. So for this page, I decided that I'm going to do two drawings, as you guys can tell already. This girl on the right, I'm going to color in and uh, yeah, I'm just basically going to do a full on illustration. And for the girl on the left, I'm just going to keep it very sketchy. And maybe later on, I'm going to add some more drawings kind of uh, around it to not just put like two drawings on the page. I mean, it still looks kind of good, but I want to make it more dynamic. Maybe let's see. And anyway, speaking about sketchbooks and stuff, I feel like this sketchbook, it's been one of those that is taking me the longest. I remember I bought it in the first week, second week of October, and it's May right now and I'm still working on it. So it's been seven months and yeah, the sketchbook, I mean, it's pretty much done, but it's still, it, it can still use some work, you know? So from what I remember, usually I take like five to six months to fill in a sketchbook this size. Uh, so yeah, this one is taking a little bit longer, but I'm having fun with it, so I don't really mind. But, you know, with sketchbooks and having a YouTube channel, it's always this kind of pressure that I already want to show you guys what I've been, um, you know, doing in my sketchbook, how it looks like. And... And I just feel like this pressure within me that I just want to finish it and I want to show it to you. I want to record a video. I want to do a sketchbook tour. And yeah, this sometimes is kind of um, taking away the fun of filling in my sketchbook. I think, yeah, with this one, I'm definitely not feeling as much of it like I always did. And also right now, I really feel like I'm back uh, with the motivation to draw. I want to draw all the time and every time I'm starting to like, you know, color in the drawing and putting everything together, I'm like, oh my God, this is what I love. I'm back to the grind. I'm back to, you know, how it was and I'm loving it. Honestly, I'm loving it. So um, I don't know, once I'm done with the sketchbook, uh, if I'm going to buy another one, probably the same one because I love these or if I'm actually going to continue on drawing in... Um, those kind of uh, just blocks of paper because I bought some and I haven't been using them that much. 
And actually what I'm thinking is I'm gonna stick to those blocks of paper because they allow me to do full body illustrations and I definitely want to do some more group drawings, some outfit drawings. So yeah, if I have a sketchbook, I always tend to gravitate towards the sketchbook rather than the uh, blocks. So yeah, maybe right now I'm gonna focus on more full body uh, sketches, full body drawings, so I can have a little bit of break uh, of drawing in a sketchbook. So well, I took a little bit of a break, like I usually do actually, and uh, I'm starting off uh, again this sketchbook spread. I mean, obviously not really again, but I'm doing the second sitting, let's say, and I'm gonna finish off uh, the place that I have left on the left, actually. Um, I'm gonna finesse the sketch of the girl that I did. I'm not a fan of it, honestly. The face is looking, I mean, it looks okay, but something is off in my opinion at least, just something minor that disturbs me a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna finish it off anyway since I don't want to erase that and I mean, let's just let the mistakes happen, you know? I think that's my kind of problem with filling the sketchbooks because I want them to be so perfect that I don't allow myself to make any mistakes and honestly, and also this sketch is not a mistake in any sort of way, but I just wish it was better in my mind, but I think that like sketchbook is for experimenting and that should be good enough to just leave it like that. But yeah, you know, everyone has those kind of things that they want to make perfect and this is one of those that I have. I just don't let myself to make mistakes in sketchbook and that sometimes is a little bit overwhelming, but you know, it's not a big deal. I'm getting through it and I'm just finishing up this little one and I'm gonna add one more sketch below that because there is a little bit of space left and I really want to make this page kind of packed with uh, sketches, illustrations and all of that. So that's the plan. So for that I picked the picture of the girl with uh, braids, uh, just kind of a little bit of a profile view, not really straight on profile, but yeah, kind of. I think it's fitting the, the page and uh, it's gonna definitely fill in the space that I have here. And you know, I love doing those quick sketches because they really allow you to be a little bit more loose with your sketching because whenever I'm doing those full-on illustrations, I have to kind of be a little bit more strict with my sketching. I can't go all in and for example, press my pencil against the paper that much because then the lines are gonna be too visible. And while I'm doing those little sketches, it's always easier to just kind of be more free and be more expressive. So that's why I also like to add them sometimes uh, to my sketchbooks uh, in those empty spaces or just do them just because, you know? And yeah, that is pretty much about this uh, sketch with me video and about this uh, sketchbook page. I actually really like how it turned out. Um, I love all of these drawings, honestly, both the sketches, they actually turned out pretty cool and the illustration as well. I just added some little tweaks like the rippings in the jeans and I think all together it looks pretty fire. So let me know what do you guys think and how did you like this sketch with me video? Should I do more of these in the future? Let me know and thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye!